How goes everybody? My name is Sam Cham. Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound Zero. In the last episode, we came back to uh, Union Station and we completed the uh, haunted house. So, off screen, I went and got some money out of the bank and I went to a hotel and that's about it. You'll probably need like a thousand or so dollars for this next part. What I have to do is just come up over here if I can find my way. And we have a spider. This is new on me. I'm pretty sure these guys will cast poison on you. Holy crap. Holy shit. Um. Uh. Yeah, these guys can cast poison on you. And to remove that, you would use PK healing. Yeah, let's, uh. Use the laser beam. Uh, we would. You'd use PK, um, healing alpha to get rid of that. And another one. Oh, Jesus Christ. We really... I don't remember these guys being this hard. So, how has everyone's day been going? Today's Friday for me. And... Yeah, I had a... Decent day. A lot of testing. And so, yeah. Testing, testing, testing! TESTING! You get that reference? Good for you. And holy sh these spiders hold up one hell of a fight, my god. Uh, keep going. So where we're going next is the Yuka Desert. And there's going to be another sound thing. Oop, drop that. Uh, that we can, uh, get. There's another s melody. We won! How much EXP do we get for that? Oh, did that say 7 experience? Did that uh, say we got 7 experience? That... That, that doesn't seem right. I'm sorry, but that doesn't seem right at all. Let's heal up. And what do we got? Oh, we got Nancy. Uh, robots that look like this can be a bit difficult. So let's just go. Yeah, let's go that. Just like fucking go all out on that bit. On that bit. I think it's so stupid how people say bit instead of the actual word bitch. But, oh well. That's like when people say the N-word and they use it with a, a soft soft R. So it's, uh. It's only offensive if you say it like that. And, uh, the reason I just, um, skipped there, I did that on purpose, um, was because you saw, this is cheating, I will give you that, this is cheating, is that the, um, but the, the, the gun laser beam or plasma beam, whichever one I use, broke. So, yeah. Should probably edit that out, but oh well, I already talked over on it. I'm not gonna do this all over again. Do it again! <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do it live! If you get that reference, good for you. And now the music changes. Now, if my memory serves, which it usually doesn't, we need to go a bit northeast from here. So, yeah. And there'll be a cactus. And you'll know which one it is. Oh, scorpions. These guys can poison you, too. So, always be mindful of that. Uh, yeah. Plasma beam seems a bit good. Um, in Spook Hand, there... You could have encountered an enemy called the Red Snake. And they will try to run away as quickly as possible. But if you kill them, they will give you a lot of... And a lot of experience so if you can kill them good for you oh, oh man tired I've been tired today I had a very uneventful day today I'll, I'll tell you what so yeah and today's gonna be a pretty relaxed episode um not gonna be very many um encounters with enemies. First time we're using the big bag, and you see it just pulls out a um, magic herb. See that black dot that's directly in front of us? That's where we need to go, and a bit northwest from that point is the cactus. Holy shit, we need to run. Holy shit, we need to run. We need to run the fuck out of there. PK-40 slip. Guard. Guard. Guards! Guards! Gab... What are these things called? Gab... Leon? I don't know. Leon. Listen, and yeah, 
This is this commentary is awful. Oh my god. What could, what could we do to make it better? Uh, I don't know. I do not know. Oh, holy crap. Okay, there it is. And, um, we have another one of these. Okay. Uh, the, if they're by themselves, you can probably, um, attack them. Who the hell? Okay, that, unrelated. Uh, PK Freeze is pretty good. It's just something weird happened. Uh, unre unrelated. There's, I hate how I'm right next to a window. And you have to... Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Wait, a voice speaks into Samuel's mind. Well, since I'm speaking in my mind, I guess I'll use telepathy. And the cat is saying, for whatever reason. Mmm, that sound is heavenly. Let's do it again! Oh, so great. So good. Now we just have to go southeast and avoid this stuff. We can. Yeah. We're right there. Um, walk around. There we go. And here we are. See the Yuka Desert charter flights available by arrangement. Okay. Oh, there he is. And we're gonna want to get this tank. But in order to do this, yeah, I gotta talk to this guy up here. During the last war, I laid mines in the desert. I removed all but one of them, so watch your step. Okay. You want to ride the plane? Yeah! Which flight plan would you like? Let's go A. So, $5 for one ticket, and there's 15 And we need to get 10 stubs in total to get that tank, and each person gets one. So, all that we're going to do for this is just fly around, and this flight will show you where the cactus is. So, yeah. A little helpful hint if you missed that. And I wonder if this water is going to show up on the screen recorder. Because uh, it's not moving, but it just looks like it would not be recorded very well. All I can Final Fantasy 2, the water actually moves like the Japanese Final Fantasy 2. And that where we flew over is where I have to go next. So yeah, and that's the end of this flight just about. Yeah. And now we gotta talk to him again. No, oh, you wanna ride on the plane? Yeah. Which plane flight would you like? Right? Yeah, that one. So, one thing, um, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be a pilot. I still kinda do. It's still, it seems like a fun thing to do. And the few times I've actually flown, it's a lot easier than driving, I think. Even though people think it's hard because you have an extra dimension up and down. Hardest part is like landing because you. <laughs> Very easy to fuck up, and if you do, you kind of break everything. And this is where our house is. Yeah, my house. And, uh. uh I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Phew! Uh, my teacher was telling a story how, how one day he, he had a sneeze like the entire day, but he couldn't until he walked outside one day at the end of the day and it's just a, everything was white and th it is actually like a thing where white bright light actually makes you sneeze and the reason being is uh it um is um it's because you have the nerve endings in your um, nose is oh damn it i have too much stuff what are we gonna get rid of i guess the antidotes e yeah, uh, so it's like the nerves in your um, nose and your eyes are like shared somewhat. So if you have an irritant to your sight, it makes it has like an irritant to your nose that makes any sense. So like your eyes irritated, then you'll sneeze. And that makes any sense. Cause I, I guess it makes sense because like when I use eye drops, sometimes I sneeze. It's interesting. Oh, no, I didn't want to go on flight A. Oh, God. Well, I wasn't going to cut the, me going on this one out, but I guess not. I mean, it just gives more time to talk. I'm really, we're like halfway through the episode, I'm thinking. I mean, no, really, we just have to go to the next area, which is like directly west. And yes, back to the story about me being pilot, wanting to be a pilot. That's really it. Oh, one story, interesting story was, so when I was like, uh, 
nine or I don't know how old I was, probably like eight. Um, I there at the local airport. Um, they were having uh, like private pilots would take kids up, fly around, so they could get pilots or flying hours, which they needed. And so I was gonna go on this one plane, and there's a kid that was behind me. God, what can we get rid of? Um, Jesus, uh, God. Um, sorry that I just stopped the story right then. I mean, all this stuff is really good. Guess, guess get rid of that. Yeah. I don't want to, but it's the only thing. I wish we could get rid of the ghost key. Or about to go to Magic Hand, anyways. But, um, we, I would, or the kid, there's a kid behind me that said, I want to go on that plane. Can I go in front of you? Because I was supposed to go on that one plane. And me being nice, I was like, sure, why not? Uh, so I went. They, that kid went on the plane with that pilot with a bunch of other kids because they were like Cessnas, so they had like multiple seats. And um, I want another one, uh, other plane. The plane that I was supposed to go on crashed, and mine didn't. So yeah, which no one died, but still, it like it was like high in the air when it was landing, then kind of like stalled. And then, like, when, la like, kind of, like, was at, like, a 45-degree angle into the ground. Oh, where we're passing over right now is, um, Youngstown, or Easter, if you're playing the actual mother. And, you, um, we know, they noticed that I've had, like, a 45-degree angle to the ground, hit that, and rolled over, like, three times. Yeah, but everyone survived, except the, that pilot's career, so, yeah. And now we get the tank. Um, hello? Hello? Is this a police? Yes? Fuck you. Um, how do we get in the tank? I guess we have to... No, I don't. No, I don't want to go on a plane. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit expensive. When, when some, when, when you ask, like, a clerk about a price of something and say it's expensive... Why would you... I don't know. I guess you have to give them the ticket. And now, we have the... Such... I, I just love the tank. You know, I get to be in it for a short time. But I love this music that plays there. It's so, like, intense. Okay, so the area I'm like going around is where that landmine the guy said he didn't dig up is. And you can only be in the desert. You, you can't go anywhere else. And I swear to God, somewhere over here is where that skull is. That's where we need to go right there. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know where that is. So, yeah. I just love this music. It's so great. And yeah, so to go to the next thing, man's spot, you have to go right here. And there's a huge ass motherfucking robot. R7037's attack. Evan bounce attack back. How do you bounce an attack back? I, I all when I think of this fight, all I imagine is like the giant robot punching the tank and then like his fist slipping or something and rebounding back into his face. That's all I freaking imagine. And the amount of damage we're actually doing is very little to the amount of damage he's doing to himself. I feel like if 
a robot punched a tank, the tank would just break. So, yeah. So, that's the end of the episode. And next time, we'll go find that landmine and talk to that skeleton and go into the next area. So, till next time, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And goodbye, guys. Have a wonderful time.